Hello students, welcome to Embed System Laboratory. Subject code is 18HL66. And today we are going to discuss about part experiment. Title of the experiment is ALP to find whether the given number is 16 bit even or odd. That's the title of the experiment. Myself, Arvindar, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, G plus ITW, Mysore. The aim of our experiment is to determine whether the given 16 bit number is an even number or odd number. And we are writing assembly language program for it. Okay, so objectives are to learn assembly level, level language program of ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller. Uh, the target device what we have in our lab is LPC1768. And we, uh, we are using eff efficiently the data transfer instructions and the shift instructions to determine the given 16 bit number is even or odd. And the software what we are using is Keel Microvision software. First, we shall see the algorithm. So, algorithm is very simple. First, we are going to start the program and we are going to initialize one number that is we are considering here 0x91. It's a hexadecimal number 91 we are considering. We need to find out this number is whether it is even or odd number. And the third step is we are going to load the number R1. Okay, the number 91 is loaded to R1 register. Next, we are going to check the LSP of this number 91. Okay, and we are going to perform logical rate shift by one time. When we perform this logical rate shift one time, whatever the LSP that is there in the number what we have considered, so that will be moved to the carry flag. If the carry flag is updated with one bit, bit one, then it represents the given number is odd. If the carry flag bit is updated with logic zero, then it represents the given number is even. This is how we are going to find out whether the given number is even or odd number. And if the given number is even, then we are going to store 0x e e e e in the R1 register. I'm just considering this uh, e e e, you can consider any number or any value. Similarly, if the given number is odd number, then in the same R1 register, we are going to update it with 1111. Okay. And this is the algorithm. Next, we shall see the program. Okay. So, as I told, uh, this is the operations. So, first we are considering the 91 number. Okay. It's hexadecimal number. Consider the number 0x91. Okay. It's equivalent. Uh, binary number can be written like this, okay? That is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, okay? So, this is the equivalent binary number of 91. 91 we have considered in the hexadecimal number. Its equivalent number is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So now I'll be performing one time right shift operation. Then what happens? 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So this LSP bit that is 1 has now moved to the carry flag register. That C is the carry flag register. This value of the carry flag registers will be updated with logic 1. Okay, if the carry bit is updated with one, then it represents the given number is odd number. Okay, so therefore, in the R1 register, we need to store it as 0x1111. Okay, suppose we are considering another number. Let us consider another number that is. zero x nine zero we shall consider its equivalent binary number is one zero zero one space zero 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 okay now i'll perform one time right shift operation logical right shift operation okay zero one zero zero one zero 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 
Now the carry bit is updated with LSP. What is LSP? LSP bit is zero. Therefore, if the LSP bit is zero and the same bit will be updated in the carry flag register. And therefore, since the carry flag bit register is updated with logic zero, then it represents the given number is T1. So this is the logic. So this is the program. So first we are considering area, code memory area and code one, this is the file name. You can give any name here instead of code one and it is a read only operation. Next come export underscore underscore main. So this instruction will transfer to the main program under underscore underscore main is the label under this label, whatever instructions we have written, that's the main program. So first here we are declaring the number that is initializing the number num dcd 0x91. So we are considering 0x91 in our program. So num dcd define constant data. We are defining the constant data num as 0x91. Okay. Now we are loading this num to the R0 register. That means R0 register is updated with 0x91. Okay. Now ls rs means logical shift right side r not comma hash one that represents the contents of the r not register will be performed logical rate shift side operation one time okay after performing that it will check the lsp okay so here we have the next operation next is the label here if the carry flag register is set with logic one or bit value one, then it will move to the next label. Under this next label, we have move up and comma 0x111. As I told in the algorithm, if the carry flag is set with logic one, then the given number is odd number. Okay, if it is not set with one, it will continue with this operation. That is move R1 comma 0x e e e e. That represents the given number is E1. That time carry flag will be updated with logic zero. Okay. And we are going to finally stop the program end. So this is the simple program and the logic is also very easy. So after understanding the logic of the program, we shall see the execution steps now. Open Kiel Microvision software. The first step is go to project, click on new Microvision project. So here I will create one folder on the desktop. So in this folder, I will save my project that is even odd. That's the file name I've given to my project. Click on save. Next, you have to select the target device. That is our target device is LPC 1768. Select, click on this, click on OK and copy the startup file. So click on yes. So in the project window, you can see target is created. Under that, we have a source group. In that startup file is being added. Now we need to write the program. Go to file, click on new, write the program, and save this program. Go to file, click on save as, and give the file name as even or dot s so that dot s is mandatory it's a source file click on save so now add this even or dot s file to source group one right click on this select third option that is add existing files to group click on this now you can add this file click on even or dot s click add close it so even odd .s file is added to source group one. Now go to project. So now even odd .s file is added to source group one. Save it. Go to project. 
perform translate. So there are even odd dot s, zero errors and zero warnings. So before uh, building it, double click on this startup file. We have to comment few lines as I told in the previous program also. So comment these lines. One twenty seven, one twenty nine, one thirty, and two seventy two, two seventy three. Now save it again. Go to project, perform translate. Go to project again. Build the target. So before building the target, I think we need to select. Options for this. Go to output. Click on hex file. Create hex file. Click OK. Now go to project. Build the target. So zero errors, zero warnings. Now we have built the target. That is, we have created the hex file successfully. Now we are going to check the output. So go to debug. Start debug session. So here you can see R0, R1 registers are 0, 0 now. We, we have not started the execution yet. So I want to show you the C register, C flag registry. C here, flag register C is 0. Okay, initially it is 0. Now I'll start the step by step execution process. So click on this step one. Okay, so it will start the, it will show the starting address of the program. Okay, so coming to our main program, load LDR R0, comma num. That is, we are loading the Define constant data. We have defined the number as 0x91 here in the program. That number will be loaded to R0 register. Click on this. See here. You can see R0 is updated with 991 number. Okay. Next, I click on this. See here. You can find C is updated with 1. That means after performing logical right shift operation, the LSP bit of the number is moved to carry bit, carry flag register. That carry fly register is updated with what value? Logic one. According to our program, if the carry flag register is updated with logic one, then it is a odd number. We shall see now. See, R1 register is updated with what value? 0x0001111. Zero 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 one 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 one. That represents the given number is odd number. Instead of 0x91 here, if you can take 0x90, then in place of R1, it will be stored at stored, it will store R0x000 E E E E. And carry flag will be updated with 0. So this is the final execution steps, and these are we need to see the result. Results and discussions. So we have considered the number as 0x91. So this value is stored into the R0 register. You can see the snapshot here. And after performing logical right shift operation, the carry bit will be carry flag register will be updated with the LSP value. Here, the LSP value, uh, LSP bit value is one. Therefore, the carry flag register is updated with logic one, that is bit value one. Therefore, the given number is an odd number. So, therefore, in R1 register, it is stored with 0x000111. Okay. So these things you can find in the snapshots it is shown here. Next conclusion. So finally, what we can conclude? We have written assembly language program to check whether the given uh, number, 16 bit number, is in E1 or odd number for LPC1768 microcontroller. And we have compiled the program in uh, Keel Microvision 4 software. Uh, after compiling, we have built the target and we have checked the uh, appropriate registers. Thus, the given number is an E1 or odd can be found. So we can use the same code and we can run for different inputs. If you can consider instead of 0x91, you can consider different number and you can check whether the given number is E1 or odd. Thank you.